The Minnesota Vikings travel to Cincinnati to face the Bengals on Sunday. Cincinnati is an 8.5 point favorite on BetDAC, 48 is the total in this game. Now the Bengals have been much better than the Vikings this season and they need this game on Sunday. They lead the AFC North of course. If they win their last two games, they could still lock up a first round bye in the playoffs. They will definitely secure a home game in the playoffs if they win their last two because that means they will win the North. Minnesota, meanwhile, has been eliminated from playoff contention for quite a while, but the Vikings are playing their best football of the season right now. In their last four games, they've won twice, they pulled out a tie, and they lost by three on the road in Baltimore, a game they probably should have won. Last week, the Vikings beat the Philadelphia Eagles, who lead the NFC East 48-30. to The 48 points, the most a Minnesota team has scored in 15 years, and they're without Adrian Peterson, the defending NFL MVP. Peterson is back this week. Matt Castle now at quarterback for Minnesota. He is their best option at the position. Not coincidentally, Castle has played in every one of the Vikings' wins this season. So, you know, Minnesota, they look better this week than they have in several weeks coming into Cincinnati. The Bengals better watch out. Although the Bengals have been the best home team in the NFL this season, 6-0 at home. They've covered in all six games. Top 10 of the NFL in points scored and points allowed. Might surprise you to know they're top 10 in points scored. That is because of the success they've had on offense at home. 132 combined points over the last four home games for the Bengals. And Minnesota ranks 31st in the NFL in both yards allowed and points allowed. So week after week, it seems like I say, well, you can't trust the Cincinnati offense and they're inconsistent and this and that. And they are. Eight times this season, the Bengals have produced 21 points or fewer. But at home on Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings, I do expect the Cincinnati offense to get something going. But will their defense be able to hold down this Minnesota offense? Because as we said, the Vikings playing very well on the offensive side of the ball right now. And Cincinnati, even though they still rank in the top 10 in points allowed, their defense right now weaker than they have been at any point this season. We know about the hard luck injuries that have hit the Cincinnati defense this year, and they might be without a couple of more guys on Sunday, as Carlos Dunlap and James Harrison both listed as questionable for this game. The Bengals have surrendered 58 points over the last two weeks. That's the most points they've allowed in any two-game stretch this season. So the Vikings offense peaking at the right time. Cincinnati's defense not as strong as they have been throughout the year. Listen, I think eight and a half points, a little bit much in this situation. The Vikings playing very well. I think the number here has something to do with the fact that Cincinnati really needs this game and Minnesota doesn't really need this game. But the Vikings sure, certainly haven't shown any sign of packing it in over the last couple of weeks. Not sure if I'm going to make this one of my best bets because a Cincinnati blowout is a distinct possibility here. There's no question about it. But you know what? I think a Vikings outright win is a possibility here as well. Even though Cincinnati is perfect at home this season, it seems like every year, the last couple of weeks, there's some playoff team that just loses a couple of inexplicable games. Last season, I'm thinking about the Houston Texans. I'm not sure if Cincinnati is going to be that team this season, but I wouldn't put it past the Vikings pulling an upset in Cincinnati on Sunday. And I do lean towards Minnesota as an 8.5-point underdog in this situation. Over 48, another bet I look at here.